Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about understanding other people's code. Let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, is it okay that I understand other people's code but I can't write the code myself? I always google source code and ask for source code from other people. Yes, this is completely fine. Uh, it's something that sooner or later is not going to be a problem for you. It's something that might be a big problem in the beginning, and at least in my experience, because I had a very like I pretty much had the same issue. I think a lot of people uh, usually have this issue in the beginning of things. Uh, what you're dealing with is most likely an issue with well, not imagination, but you 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 lack the that sensation of I get it like you you haven't matured your understanding of problem solving with software development and it's I mean this is something that is true for most things that you do it be it like if you do martial arts or if you uh, if you're gonna be a plumber or whatever it might be or a doctor or whatever right any skill that you are just learning well it's kind of hard to imagine a solution to a problem that you don't fully understand and that's why we have mentorships and like learning by doing types of things that most well pr practically every education has it in some fashion it's n nothing is ever completely theory usually at the very least and that's that's most likely what's going on so you don't have to worry about it you, you you simply are in that stage where you're a little bit unsure of how to solve things with code because you haven't done it enough to kind of have it in the back of your head or in the back of your spine as I like to say well, well it's not just my saying but I hope you get what I'm saying and all you have to do is to repeat this process. Look at people solving a like similar problems or problem. Like it's, say, look at different people solving the same problem a hundred different ways, and you're going to master that problem fairly quickly. And then you repeat that process over and over and over again until you get it. Until you don't really think so much about how certain things in code works and so forth because you've seen it so many times that you so I mean you you will get to a point where you might have a completely new problem that you've never worked on before but because you have solved so many other problems that either are sub parts of that problem or similar in some way you can almost divine how the solution should look I mean guys there are so many situations in my daily job where I kinda go I like I don't know how this specific interface works or how this specific behavior is going to be or something like that but I have enough experience with similar situations that I can kind of just guess how it works now that is a that, that is a luxury of doing something many many times I, I will warn you and because this is a bad habit that I have a word of warning when you get to that point where you sort of just kind of know how things work if you can just kind of look at I mean if you look at some basic code in documentation or something you kind of go oh okay this is how that interface or that library works and you kind of just ah, do the thing because it has a name that makes you think oh this is how it works I have fucked up so many times because I skimmed the specifics in the documentation because I know well I think I know how something works and that is bad there are many times where I have, I have either kind of gotten stuck or I've caused bugs or things like that because I thought I knew how something worked not by reading how it worked but rather just because I had experience from previous things that were similar but this thing worked a little bit differently and I didn't take the time to actually figure that out so what I want you to take away from this is basically that if you find that you have an issue figuring out how to solve problems by yourself don't worry so much it usually is just something that you know, it's very it's very common for junior developers and it's something that goes away with experience because if you get someone to show you the source code or you find someone who has like 
I mean, that's something that I do. I mean, practically every software developer does it, depend like to different degrees, of course. Uh, as an example, every single day, you probably, as a software developer, you're going to use Stack Overflow for something because you can't remember how something specific you're going to do is work, how that works, or you can't remember the documentation or how to compose a specific reg regex or whatever, right? So you do it. Uh, it's just, as a junior software developer, it's more common and it's most likely that you have to do it for bigger things, like for more stuff than for what the seniors have to do. But everybody does it to some extent. So don't worry about it. Uh, and just continue doing what you're doing. See if you can find people who show you examples of how to build certain things or references and so forth. And try to understand how they solved it. And sooner or later you're going to go, yeah, I remember, I, I, I know how this thing works. And because I know that, I, I don't have to go and look that up. Because it's kind of like this other thing that I remember. And then you're going to be able to solve it yourself. I promise you, it's just down to experience. Have a great day.